Good evening, everybody. Uh, you're here for a work session meeting. Today is Tuesday, July the 21st at 6 o'clock. We will stand up, do the Pledge of Allegiance, and get the meeting started. I pledge allegiance to the two flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We'd like to honor a moment of silence to honor our military, firefighters, sheriff's deputies, and road workers as they serve our community here and abroad. Thank you. Tracy, can we have a uh, roll call, please? Trustee McLaughlin. Present. Trustee McGuire. Present. Trustee Mann. He said he'd be here in about 10, 15 minutes. Okay, uh, first thing on the agenda is old business, and on the list is Choice One Engineering Discussion, OPWC grant received. Okay, so we got turned down on a grant back in the day, whenever that was. Timelines. And um, so we decided we needed to have work done and we put an RFP out uh, for some work due on every road. We were going to do the work for um, the grant two money, issue two money, that we didn't get. And we awarded the resolution 20 035 to J JA Construction. And um, they didn't take the job. Um, do you want to make a comment on that? I mean, I know in the last meeting, Jim, you said that you thought we were sabotaged. Uh, we weren't really sabotaged. Um, JA Construction did work up in, I asked him if he was here, but he's not here, up, up in Clay Township. And um, after doing that job under Steve Wolf in Clay Township, he will not work for Steve Wolf again. And uh, Steve Wolf is part of Jefferson Township, so he won't do the job. That's not so, what his letter said. Huh? That's not what his letter said. Okay. That's what I heard. What does his letter say that? Well, why don't you have him at the meeting and tell us on the record? Why don't you pull the letter out? Let's see it. Well, at one point of his letter, he said he didn't believe that our money was any good and he was afraid to work in Jefferson Township. Okay. Good enough. So, how did we go from JA construction to Boer asphalt? How did that happen? Blue or blacktop. Blue blacktop. I mean, it wasn't done in an open meeting. Um, I called them today and asked them, and they stated that um, a Steve Wolf and a Jim McGuire gave them permission to proceed. Is that true? I'm not answering your questions. Mm -hmm. You're not answering my questions? Is that what you said? Move to adjourn. Adjourn? We got stuff on the agenda. We're not going to talk anymore on the agenda? Move to adjourn. You're not going to have a quorum when I walk out. Well, but nobody agreed to adjourn the meeting, so we can keep going. You got to get a second. And when you're not voting on anything, you're just discussing. We're just talking about it. You're playing games. We're not playing games. It was. So Jim left the meeting at. So Jim leaves the meeting at 6.05. Okay, so is there anything else we want to discuss, I guess? 
Officially, the meeting's not happening, but I'm not. Yeah, just um, I made several phone calls today. Um, Tracy, I know you were over there quite a bit at the Calumet Center. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I got a voice message on the top dog um, in the situation, but the county owns the Calumet Center, and I've been told by numerous people it is no longer closed. So I want to ask you why we can't open up our offices over there and conduct business. So I did talk to Mr. Mann on that, and he just doesn't want the building open. So there's a possibility you might want to talk to Mr. Mann. Okay. And find out because he may be directing that. Okay. Because he's he's terrified to open the building, basically. Terrified to open it. I mean, if you open the building, you still it's not like. I'm, I'm, I don't mean the building. I mean our offices because we don't have any control over. He just doesn't want the public in the offices. But there's nothing we have control of. We don't have any control of the building. Well, we can, we can conduct a policy. We could have business where, um, so you come in the first set of doors uh -huh. and you communicate, hey, I want to talk to so-and-so or, you know, I need to conduct this business. We need to have a, um, just like you guys would do. So, like, okay, so if you contact downtown and I need to talk to the building inspector, you make an appointment, you go downtown, and you meet in a room that, you know, you're wearing your protection, you work, you, you're wearing your stuff, mm -hmm. and when they get done, everything's clean. So, uh, understand about not being in the offices, but why couldn't we set up a, a table in that conference room or not use it or something someplace? We've got to be open to the public. Okay, so we'll just, I think we have to talk about that, so. Okay. Um, oh, but I know what I do want, um, since she's here, I've, you spot, talked about cleaning, and we got that money, and we got to use it, and I know you have been asked to use your vendors. Have you looked into anything for, I know you got stuff here, but we need stuff over at the county in the center. Yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, Mr. Wolf was supposed to find me uh, some vendors about uh, cleaning the building. I haven't seen those yet, so okay. I, I could take a look. That's good, but what about the hand supplies, the masks? Yeah, whatever you, you know, we can give whatever you tell me. So I, you get. Yeah, I, I guess I can give you the list, but I was wondering if you wanted me, was there anything that I can do as far as getting the monitors, the uh, masks, gloves, whatever? I mean, we can run it through us and then just okay. reverse us back. Okay. Uh, well, Chad ever give you the uh, button? You better check with everybody else. Right. Are, are you uh, are you having that delivered at this point in time? Or are you going to someplace and getting it? No, they deliver. Oh. Yeah, we order our stuff. They just deliver here. Okay. So we could probably hop on that same if I get approved. Yeah, we hop on that same train. What we need, yeah. What we need to do is uh, does Chad ever give you the reimbursement for the other stuff yet? Not yet. What we can do is buy it through the fire department because we'll get a little bit of a discount in the fire department. And then um, just whatever, with the CARES Act money, just reimburse us as we purchase. But you need to talk to all three trustees. Right. I'm not getting the middle of the <laughs> no, I'm just bringing it up since he's the president and he can bring it to the, the trustees. Yeah. Yeah. Are we have a. Um, Audit meeting this evening? We supposed no, to no, no. I postponed the audit okay. for this quarter because, um, because of That's all right. That's what we did do that last meeting. You're right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because all this going on and we just missed this quarter's audit meeting. Okay. And the only thing was, I was going to try to discuss was the audit report. Yeah. Does anybody know Jack John that John Calvin's going to be here tonight? I, d I doubt it because usually he didn't come to the second meeting. He usually only would come to the He was on vacation the first meeting, right? Yeah. Usually they tell him not to come to the second meeting. Oh, I got some 
legal papers I need to give him, I'll give them to Steve then. Oh, Bill Wilson, uh, somebody called me, and I don't know if they called you, but they did the cutting of prop of somebody, some of the properties, they do all this cutting they're doing. And somebody yeah. called me and said that their parents, classmate of mine, classmate sister of mine, uh, called me and said that they cut their parents' properties and sent a bill for five hundred some dollars. Well, one thing is, I thought they put on the property tax, and the second thing is the property is mostly cement. So what did they cut on the property? This is what I was told. I don't know for a fact. So I haven't been able to ask Tony about that. And I had her call Tony. But I'm Well, you're supposed, to get, you're supposed to get notice to give you the chance to get yourself. Right. And then if you don't do it, it's an hourly rate. But, yeah, you got to so, ask Tony. So that's, that's my question. I asked her, did you get a notice? Because I know that they posted a daily court reporter. But, but, you got a bill and you didn't get a notice, so they knew it was your property and they sent you a bill. Why didn't they send you a notice? So I asked her to check to see if they got a notice, but I also asked her to call the code enforcement office. Well, five hundred dollars, you can hire a uh, landscaper to cut all summer and then have some money left over. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know. I so, know um, but I'm getting calls like that, and I'm, I'm sending them to the code enforcement office because you know the doing more cutting the property. Gene, yep. does the name Monty Siller mean anything to you? Siler. Monty Siler. No, it doesn't ring a bell. Doesn't even have a company name, Monty Siler. No company name. We got a chip. How much is it? Twelve thousand five hundred dollar chip or cash? Yeah, I've heard about it. Okay. I do not know the guy. He would put a word to you if it said Justin Township Trust. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know who. He's a good friend. Yeah, he's a good friend of her. <laughs> we, we're trying to figure out why, you know, where the check came from and why. And I guess Steve's going to be here at the next meeting. I guess you'll have to bring it up during that meeting. Did it say anything with, with her letter with the drink? All I got was a check stuck in between oh. the stack of bills that I got sitting right here. You see this? This is what Steve gave me today. All the invoices he's been holding for the last two and a half months. Why didn't show up to the work session then? <laughs> 56, he lists his 56 invoices. 56 invoices in one right. day. Right, and, and I didn't give them to him like that. I didn't give them to him like that, so I, I I have a complaint about that, and I don't know if I should address that in a regular meeting or not. What's should that? I, should I address that during my um, mm -hmm. report? Okay. We have a, um, two people want to sell this property. It's a, I mean, we'll, we'll talk about the meeting, but. Um, I want to talk about. I want to talk about the work session. Um, there's a person um, says we own two vacant lots on Taft, and they want to sell their house. They paid forty-eight thousand for it in December of eighteen. We don't want it. Uh oh, innocent. Not yet, you right? Mm -hmm. I'm asking. It's a resident still, isn't it? You're doing good. Thank you. So, it's, it's resident. so um, we have nepotism. We don't know about that. We're going to ask about that meeting. Well, you know, yeah. I would think yeah. we should have asked the kids. Yeah, me yeah, too. But nobody's here. But not well, Mr. Nash is here now. Uh, Mr. Nash shows up at 6 15. Yep. Uh, yeah. we, we can go ahead with the meeting now. I'll tell you. Okay. Jim walked out of the meeting, Mr. Nash, just for your own name. Why? So, we got a pet lesson with him again. Oh, we, just, we, just asked him, we asked him a question and he says the meeting adjourned and he says you don't have a quorum and he walked out. 
But this is just a work session. We're just working on issues out. So we are discussing on a start of Did you hold it? Did you hold it? No, wait. So there's some things we need to talk, talk about. We're going to open the meeting back up. We don't need to do the Pledge of Allegiance stuff. And it wasn't. It really is officially closed because we didn't have a forum, and now we do. So um, on the agenda there, Rory, um, of course, you know, we did the Pledge of Allegiance. We had a moment of silence. Did roll call. Um, do we want to do roll call again? Just want to just you already said you came in at 615. OK, so we were talking about choice one engineering and the old PCWC grant, which is issue two money. Um, so you know we didn't get that, and we ended up having a contractor do that road. I've driven it both ways several times. Um, I don't know if we had any inspections done on the work while that was done. I know I've seen it was there was parts that were taken down to gravel. All the asphalt was taken out. I don't think that was done for whole thing. I don't know how well that's itemized on the bill, oh. but you know, I, I don't want to pay for this four hundred some thousand dollars issue two money, this grant, and then have that taken back out. You know, have you driven it? What do you, what do you think of the road as of now, Lori? I mean, okay, some of the work that was done, they're, yeah. they're going to go and give us credit for some. We don't know how much. But we're going to get some credit for that. Maybe. I, I, I don't know what that So be. I think we need to get that in writing that um, if you're going down the road and here's a park that's already been patched, go around that and don't tear that back out. So what we're saying is going to happen? We, we, I don't think we want to do that. We want to leave it up to the contractor to fix the road the way it should be. Now, if we've done some work on the road and they accept that it's good, then they will give us some credit for that. Well, who's going to make that decision? What's good and what needs? Uh, I'd say probably it's going to be maybe whoever's looking over this for us and the, and the contractor. Well, that, that, that should have been brought up, uh, but they know that we, you know, that's a work on that. I have in the in the invoices, the stack of invoices I got from yep. um, Steve, by the way, this is man, uh, today I got 50, 60 invoices from Steve through Adrian um, to, to pay. That's about two and a half months. And he lists at least 56 of them in here. I didn't give them to him that way, but in the stack of invoices, Boer Blacktop, he gave me their estimate gave me the W-9 which I needed um, to write a check but what I don't have from you guys is a resolution that you guys approved them to do this work so I still can't pay this bill um, until I have a resolution that was approved that says you approved Boer Blacktop to do this work. Did we do that last meeting? We did that. No, we like got tables, remember? Mm, no. No, no we, we... No, I, two yeses and a no. Well, well, I'm going to still tell you it was done after the fact, so I'm going to go ahead and approve it, but we're going to get written up really bad on that. So I do have, again, I do have the estimate, and then I do have the invoice, and when I go to send these out, um, you probably got them from Adrian. You, uh, I know you did, Mr. Mayor. You got about five or six, maybe seven emails. And in there is going to be this estimate in that. 
So you probably got them, because I know it was addressed to me, you, and Steve. She sent all the, she scanned them all in and they gave me the hard copy. And here there's a note that says, CC's S. Wolf and Roy Mann, hard copies to Tracy. So you got this, all this stuff. Okay. I still did not get the RFPs from, was it one more vendor or two for A and yeah, I, I didn't get to uh, uh, make contact. I've been calling, but... Because uh, I need to have that to go with the resolution. I forget the number you said it was. 20046 or whatever. whatever you think, uh, the one for JA, improving JA back in the day, um, that was done on May 5th, is 20035. Okay. Awarding it to JA, and then well, last week, week, last meeting two weeks ago, um, giving it to Brewer Blacktop was 20-054. Okay, so I need to have the data that goes with both of those. Now I have the data sure. for Brewer, but I don't have the one for JA. I have to have that for the records. So sometime we need to get that. But um, anyway, there is a written up summary in here, and I can send that to you. Okay, please do. Um, yeah. For what Boer said they were going to do. But it looks like when I was reading it, they, whatever milled and filled me, before they put the black top on, they did all that mill and brushed up all the gravel and did all that. So when you were just addressing that, that's what it said to me. So I'll send that to you. I just, again, I just got all this today and I just write like at 2 30 or something, and I haven't had time to do anything with this. But it's going to take me a minute to go through all these invoices. Which brings me to, well, I'm talking this. Which brings me to while I was flipping through these invoices, I found the check, which I gave a copy to, to um, uh, Trustee McLaughlin. It was a check for $12,500, dated April 13th, the cashier's check. So I'm, I looked at my cashier check and it said that I need to put a day now. Bank can put a day, so I went on and deposited it. So right now they accepted it. I don't, I don't know what that check's been for, what, three months? Almost three months. Oh no, it's three months. Where's it been? I don't know. But it, got, it was stuck in between the bills, so I think it was perfectly stuck, we know who, stuck in there. Do we know who, what it's for? No, I have no, no, nothing in this in the stack. I went to that stack with the check. And I think it was that copy and the check. I passed the check that? and no explanation. Do you know Monty Silas? Um, is that his name? Silas? Do you know Monty Silas? Is the name? No. No. I don't know who, who that is, but I, it's written to you guys. It's written to Jefferson Township Trustee, so I have a deposit it to that. Okay. I don't know who it is and why April 13th. Know, why, why just not get it? Now, you know, I understand if somebody misplaced it, but that's actually, cashier's check is actually cash. Whether it's on a piece of paper or not, that's actually cash. Yep. The auditors are going to write us up really bad on that. They're going to look at the date and say, why did you just not ca cash this check? But a cashier's check is actually cash. It was stuck, with it. It was stuck in your stack of invoices? Yes, it was stuck in between. In fact, as a matter of fact, it was stuck with the board estimate and the board bill in between those. Two. So, you know, I was concerned that maybe somebody volunteered to pay for the road, but nobody, there's no indication that's what that's for. I mean, it's, it's, I was thinking that that's, that's about the amount we get periodically from our um, cable uh, franchise money, money, but that would have. That wouldn't be a cashier's check. No, we already got that. We already got okay. that. Okay. So but that's not it. Who said you put that kind of money and not sent a document? There was I nothing else in the envelope. I'm thinking that somebody got that paper. If it came in the mail, somebody's got that paperwork. Opened it up, got the check and the paperwork. It goes with what that check is for. Well, you shouldn't even call the person that. I don't have a company or anything. I mean, the bank doesn't yeah. care whose name is on it. The, whoever gave that the PNC. It's a cashier's check. It came out of their account. But how do I find out who Marty Silas is? Do I call PNC and say, who is Marty Silas? Are they going to tell me that? 
and give me his name and I'm going to know him. So I'm assuming since it was in the bill that Steve gave it to me. So Steve should know. If it was in these bills, he should know. So I had a concern about, this is what I was talking about, about the process that we should be following, that I should get all the mail that comes in, and then I should give it to who it should need to go to. If you want Adrian to stamp it, that's fine. But I should get it, and I should pass it off to the people it needs to go to. And if it gets to the wrong person, somebody needs to let me know, no, this should go to so-and-so, and then I'll change. I have no problem with doing that, but at least I can keep track of our money and our invoice. Because I'm sure I haven't gone through these invoices, but I am quite sure I got some invoices in there that didn't come through me. It went directly to Steve. I'm quite sure. But I really have a problem with getting this like this. The, the fire department has no problem. As soon as I get them, send them an email, five, three, two, how many ever. It's not that many. I don't send more than seven at the most bills almost every day. And he gets them back to me. Why am I getting 56 invoices at once? You know, that's a question I have. I'm getting 56, almost, there's probably more than that. He just numbered 56. That was just in one folder. I have two folders here. I don't even, I don't even gone to that folder. And this, again, was just a glance of what's going on. And again, Mr. Matt, you got an email with all these, I'm sure, because I saw them. There were seven emails. She had a seven and seven seven separate emails, but they were so big. It Googles Monty Siler in the Dayton area is the owner of Boo Blacktop. Ah. So is he rebating this money back? That's probably why I was stuck in, in between Boo and Blacktop. Why would he be paying us? But as it came up, contact information, he's the principal owner he was his address and his phone number. Oh, that's weird. Why would he be paying us? That sounds a little mm -hmm. shady. That sounds a little shady to me. Let me see what this W9 says. Yeah, that's what it's under. The W9 says Monty Siler. Yeah, so I just, I just Googled his name. Yeah, 4715 Dayton Grand Road. But I don't know why. Did he? Did he turn a. Uh, a bill in a different amount? The bill? Well, that was dated April 6th. Yeah. The check. Yeah, the, yeah the check. this is before they even did the work. Yeah. The bill was sent on June 30th for 129784 The estimate was sent 124898 That's still not $12,500 difference. Uh, how, how much is their how much is their bill? The bill, the invoice they sent me was one two nine seven eight five. The estimate was one two four eight nine eight. But again, these both the four ten April tenth was the estimate, and June thirtieth was the invoice. So that's why, so now that answers why this check was stuck in between us. But it doesn't answer why I need that information. Why? Give me, why give me that job, or this little cash. I'll give, me, give me that work. So are you going to call uh, Boomer? No. Um, do I have him? You, you have a number for Boomer, right? That's, I'll give you his number. So there's no number on here. Five three seven two three five six three nine five. Okay, so I'll call him and ask him what it's for. Okay, so that mystery solved. I, I that was telling. I let you know. I, tell, I was telling Jim earlier, and that's one of the reasons he left. Um, I asked him. I called Boomer today and asked him 
who gave them notice to proceed? Who gave who awarded them a contract and gave them no, notice to proceed? And they say he said Steve Wolf and Jim McGuire. So And then you asked Jim, did you do that? And he said, I'm not answering a question, meaning that Germany wasn't. Yep. So And that's when we had to wait until you came, so we just discussed them before. Okay, so we discussed old business choice one. Do you have any, anybody else have any more old business? You, um, I've got a few things here, but I really want to talk about it with everybody else here. When you want um, to let's talk about, okay, so we have some, we have two pieces of land that are um, in interest here at Cedar. Um, there's a person that wants us to buy us a piece of property. M, we've had this name before in the meeting. M-B-A-H, it's an investment company, and um, they own a piece of land. We own two vacant lots on Taft. Now, Taft is the next street, the next street um, east of I see them. And this lot <coughs> appears to be down towards the end of it. Um, it's a vacant lot. His lot has a house on it. Um, might want to ask a question. They're just seeing if we're interested in it. Are we interested in the property? They paid 48000 for the house they're on, for the lot they own, in December of 18. doesn't say they want to sell it. They don't say how much they want for it. Um, our organization owns a vacant piece of land on Taft Avenue. We have interest in and manage several single-family home developments in the area. We no longer believe this lot will be useful for our purposes, and we are interested in disposing of it. I'm contacting you to gauge your interest in the parcel. So, they have an email on there. I'll email them and copy you guys on it. How's that going? I'll, I'll contact them, get some more information on it, and copy you and Jim on it, and start some communication with them. I only really have no desire to buy it. Have you looked at the land, the two, the partials he's talking about. I looked at them, I made maps, I looked on it electronically, I've not looked at it in person. I was running, I was running late getting here, I didn't get here until 10 till, and, but um, I planned on driving past it. They're saying it's a vacant property, but why did it sell for, the, the, the property search shows it, shows it sold for 48000 in uh, December of 18, and they don't say anything what they want for. I'm not really interested in buying property. But. There's another person that wants to buy from us. Um, another vacant lot we own. This one's on Huffman. Okay. Um, uh, just west of uh, Lugan Church. Lugan Church and Huffman, west of that, several lots. And I pulled it up and did the same thing. Um, we've owned it since November of 15. Um, we pay $703 and some change a year in taxes. Um, they're offering, uh, 